What were your junior high years like? Oh, it was over at East Topeka, and at East Topeka, a lot of people didn't think of the people at East Topeka as being really, you know, school-like, I mean, uh, you know. And I was actually struck by uh, the principal at East Topeka, you know. As in him? As, uh, it, As in physically hit? Yeah, took a paddle and beat my butt, you know, okay. because uh, this, I was a pretty big kid, and so kids would be doing stuff, and this one boy, uh, a Mexican boy, smacked me in the back of the head when the teacher wasn't looking, and I jumped up and pushed him back, and they took me into the office, and they said, you big old uh, boy, uh, you can't be pushing on these little kids. And I wasn't pushing on the little kid. And he got this paddle out. It's called the Board of Education. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, it has some little holes punched in it. And uh, you put your hands on the desk and he starts smacking you with that. And I'm just standing there. And so he keeps smacking. And finally, you uh, begin to break down. You know, you kind of, you, you know, and uh, and you know, and then he said, "Now you get on out of here, and uh, I won't tell your mother what you did." Well, you know, I was glad that he wasn't going to tell my mother. But when I think about it now, you know, I didn't do anything. Pushed the boy away from me, right. but I, I got you know beat for that at East Topeka, and I don't know. Of course, at Washington, you might get. Smack too, but it wasn't the same. He didn't. They didn't take you in the office and make you bend over a desk and beat you until you start tearing up. You know, mm -hmm. they just might say, "You stop that" or something like that. Real motherly like thing, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was all. It all just kind of blended blended in. After a while, I, I realized that things were different in some places. Junior high was just a lot more uh, moving around and doing things, because you, you had more stuff to do, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty nice, but uh, yeah, there was a lot of uh, Mexican kids and, uh, and several white children that lived down in that area of town. And, uh, you know, we walked to school and walked home, uh, but in, uh, um, grade school we were bused to school mm -hmm. yeah because it was uh, you know and then after I got older and, and realized that separate is not equal you know it's uh, not possible to be separated and saying well you're you're just getting treated like everybody else when your books were not as good, you know, mm -hmm. and just all kind of things like that, you know. Did you see a, a difference in quality between your the segregated school and the integrated school? In the segregated school something? actually was nice people, very intelligent, but they couldn't teach in the integrated school, you know. They, they were good teachers and principals and things, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, the, the Caucasian people didn't want them teaching mm -hmm. the kids in their schools. So a lot of teachers lost jobs or went and did other things. And my sister, uh, when she started teaching, uh, she asked for, uh, for, the, for the black uh, school, uh, my, my, uh, Monroe, uh, yeah, yeah, because she said she knew what it would feel like. She actually had a time when uh, racial differences caused a, a parent, a black parent, to want to attack the white a teacher, mm -hmm. and uh, and it was a, a real hollering match because the white teacher said, you sit down there, you little punk, and quit making all that noise. And he jumps up and says, I ain't no punk. And he goes running, breaks out of Monroe, 
and it was a, a area over there where it was just houses right. and there was a little uh, barbecue place and there was another uh, sh little shop that had eating you know it was a totally different what they have there now is a, a government display. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, just, yes. I had friends down the street, and I didn't even go. I mean, after I got adult, I was running around that area knowing mm -hmm. people. And anyway, the boy ran away. And next thing you know, this lady come down the street, hollering and screaming and dragging her boy with her and uh, with him. And she said, which one was it? And he goes, it's her. <laughs> and oh man, this woman uh, busts in the classroom and this was at lunchtime, I think. Sandra's been told me this story. I have it, I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, she says, he, he, was, he called my, my baby a punk. And Sandra, uh, and the teacher's like, no, I mean, I didn't do, you know, she was doing all this. And Sandra stopped, uh, here, stop it, stop it. Uh, do you know in the uh, black community that the term uh, punk means uh, homosexual mm -hmm. in some instances? And she said, no, he's all boy. Oh, he's a nice uh, kid. He's just uh, mischievous. And, uh, and Sandra says, hey, you got to realize that these people use terms that you don't use and don't know anything about. And so she used to try to help the young teachers that were learning, um, you know, and mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, her name was Sandra West then, and now it's Lassiter, Sandra, but. Uh, Sandra Lassiter. Yeah. What high school did you end up going to? Yeah, at, to, at Topeka High, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, uh, it was, the older you get, the more intentionally segregation sets in. You know, mm -hmm. when you're little kids, you're just all doing stuff together. But when you get in high school, uh, all the white kids who were at the beginning of class were on the uh, first floor. And, you know, black kids could be there, but they just weren't. They were on the second floor. Right. So, yeah. Like, and when did you guys break from high school? Say again. When did you graduate from high school? Uh, 65. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, 65. So um, it was uh, different in that way. And uh, you didn't, there was no no cheerleaders uh, that were uh, black. Uh, one girl I knew became a, um, oh, where you toss the batons around. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, um, she lived down the street from me. Drill. Yeah, you know. know and she was only one that ever did that, uh, you know, in, Topeka High, and uh, actually Topeka High used to have segregated uh, ball teams. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't have, they weren't the Topeka High Trojans, the black kids were in another team. That was before I started there, you know, right. we're talking right. back. Uh, but, you know, Topeka High did have instances where, you know, it was just kind of different and, you know, you weren't, uh, it was, uh, basically kind of all right but there was things like uh, no girls uh, cheerleaders uh, boys didn't do certain things at Topeka High. Was there any talk amongst the students about the fact that you didn't have any black No I don't no I don't re oh my well my wife different uh -huh. uh, school Highland Park okay. uh, she was in a music class one day, and of all things, they were singing, Oh Black Joe. Uh, you know, that's the song, you know, it's a song. I, I remember hearing it, uh, you know, Oh Black Joe. Black. And uh, so this uh, girl on the way out of the classroom, uh, she's talking to this other girl, she said, yeah, there's a real old Black Joe. And uh, my wife turned around and pushed her. And, uh, and then, of course, there was some altercation and the principal, assistant principal at Highland Park said, come in here, you uh, black dog, and pushed her in a chair. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, you know, she went home and told her, her father, Reverend Bird, uh, he, he was on the school, he worked all kind of stuff with 
educational things in schools and and uh, she was at home sniffling and he said you he didn't say that did he and she said yeah he said you better be tell come on she drug him drug her a few blocks they didn't live too far from school and she asked he asked her he's you think i'm big he's a bigger taller guy but anyway he said did you call my daughter old black dog and uh, he said, uh, she pushed that girl and they were, he said, I asked you, did you call that girl a black dog? And uh, uh, he said, well, yeah, she, she made me kind of upset. And uh, of course he got into the school uh, people and uh, you know, everything about it. And, and they had a big meeting and he got let go. I mean, the man went, yeah, and he, I think he went to Denver or somebody where and start teaching again. But, uh, you know, so that's Highland Park. Uh, you know, it's right. another school right here in Topeka. Mm -hmm. But that's a teacher that yes. did that. Now, my wife should maybe have not pushed her, but the teacher shouldn't have did what she did. He did. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, Every now and then you hear about stuff, you know, like that. I mean, but a lot of times they just push it off or, you know, they don't necessarily uh, do anything about it. You, you have uh, group activities like kids go on some uh, skating project, go, go skating, and a lot of sometimes they don't invite all the black uh, kids right. to do it. But there's always special black kids that get to do all kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the real. Sure, if I was ever a special black kids. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there's that group who, they live in a better part of town, their parents uh, go and participate in all kind of stuff, and, you know, the average down the street, Joe and Sally, they don't get to do none of that. But then you, in that case though, you could probably say, that there's down the street Mexicans and white children that don't get to do what the more privileged right. kids I, do. I, I